I will share with you my view of China and of course some of the popular misconceptions about China. You know, for example, I give you data to, to show that uh, China probably by far the most capitalist country on earth. No other country come close. His use of uh, economical data to back, to back up his points was uh, fantastic. I think his view on how Europe needs to become more capitalist and US, China need to become more socialist uh, is fantastic. I had never heard a theory like that and, and uh, it really got me thinking. From this lecture I learned um, the relationship between different cultures and the way he matches history with actual times. Deng Xiaoping was the leader, undisputed leader then, and uh, he was not happy with the reform program. He wanted more reform, faster reform, and opening up of China. What happened a long time ago, it still affects what is happening now. Billionaire in China uh, far exceeds that of US already. Beijing has far more billionaires than New York City. <laughs> far more. <laughs> Another highlight is, uh, China has been the second largest recipient of FDI, foreign direct investment, since year 2000. China exceeded the US 2003, 2014. This two years, China attracted more FDI than US. As MBAs, we're kind of taught you know, to innovate and, and, and be entrepreneurial, but uh, really his, his copycat strategy I thought was fantastic. And, and obviously it's worked for a bunch of his alumni. I think uh, he mentioned something like $1.3 trillion in revenues have been generated by his alumni alone. Uh, the man knows his stuff. So Alibaba and Financial Group, two chief strategy officers of the two groups, uh, all our ex-faculty members. Uh, I'm very proud. That's evidence how good our faculty is in terms of the understanding of China. It reassured me uh, the difficulty of making deals in China, especially the language barrier and the cultural beliefs and it's a challenge that we need to learn because Chinese are going to be everywhere and it's it's very important to learn to uh, overcome this challenge. I enjoy your visit to China. Thank you so much. Thank you.